you know, I grew up in church and uh, my, my family was involved in church and uh, around the age of 10, 12 years old is about the point where my family, uh, we began to experience conflict and a lot of fighting, a lot of hostility, a lot of anger, yelling, and um, it just became a, a place that I didn't necessarily want to be a lot. You know, my friends and I, we, we perfected <laughs> the, uh, the party lifestyle in, in high school, and after high school I moved out to California and uh, really just focused on my partying and got uh, introduced to, uh, to cocaine and uh, found that that was, uh, that was a fun thing for me to do. And uh, after about a year of not really doing much productive, I had to decide I had to do something. So I uh, uh, enrolled at the University of Minnesota, had painting as a summer job, which uh, with my buddy Jade, who is uh, my business partner today. And so after living in uh, you know, a big house with chaos and uh, just a lot of noise and partying all the time, I moved, out to, moved into a couple different houses and eventually ended up in a place by myself. And uh, it's about that time that I, I started to experience um, less of a desire to be social. And I, I didn't really want to uh, go out and be with people as much. And I started to um, kind of cut myself off. And I just remember darkness began to uh, kind of start to enter in, into, my, into my heart. My friend and business partner now, uh, uh, had been inviting me to Alpha and, and uh, I, I came to an Alpha and I, I remember uh, just being resistant towards church, just being completely shut off and not wanting to anything to do with church for all of those years. And I hated the feeling that I would have sitting in church. I hated the, uh, uh, just the awareness of my rebellion. And God just began to just shape circumstances he just began to uh, uh, bring pieces together and, and uh, orchestrate things in a way that uh, I, I became aware that I was bitter and resentful. And uh, a lot of the, the darkness that I, that I was feeling was a result of just things that had happened in the past. And I wanted to let that stuff go. I wanted to, I wanted to move past. I remember I was reading a book by Corey Ten Boom, The Hiding Place, and in the end of the story she says, uh, along with the command to love your enemy, God gives the love itself. And even after I was aware that I had to come to God for this thing, I, I struggled. I struggled coming to the Lord because I, I thought I was going to be punished and that He was going to be angry and that there would be discipline. And I didn't want that. God, uh, God let the, the, the weight increase and the burden grow and I got to a point where I couldn't take it anymore. And I got home from work that night and I just got down on my knees and I just said, Lord, my way isn't working. I want to do it your way. I'm sorry. I want to come back. And uh, you know, God just, His love, it just came in. My desires began to change. The things that I was involved in, it just, I lost interest in them. And I, uh, the language I was using, and the, the ways I wanted to spend my time, you know, everything, it just all those things just fell off. And I just became uh, uh, just captivated by, by the Bible, by God's Word, and by wanted to know more about this love that, that I've been missing out on. And uh, so God, uh, God just brought circumstances into, into my life that put me to a place where I needed to admit that I, I couldn't do it and that I needed Him. He has just begun to bless me in so many ways, including my fiance, Michelle. I can't, uh, I can't find, the, it doesn't make sense why God would give me a gift like this. Every time I uh, feel my nature rise up in my rebellious spirit, uh, come against God, every time it's His goodness that draws me back. 
and his forgiveness that I get to experience all over again and, and continuously. So God is good.